Hello everyone. I would like to present the research work entitled Convolutional Neural Network to Recognize Arrhythmia from Two-Dimensional Scalogram Features of ECG Signals. The paper ID is 177 and this work is intended to be presented for the International Conference on Innovative Trends in Information Technology, ICITIIT 2022, hosted by IIIT Kodayam. The prominent objective of this research work is to recognize arrhythmia by classifying one-dimensional ECG sequences with the help of convolutional neural network. In this regard, we intend to design a di discrete wavelet transform and scalogram-based pre-processing technique to convert the one-dimensional ECG sequence into a two-dimensional image. The second objective is to design a combined convolutional neural network and a classical convolutional neural network architecture. So this is basically a hybrid quantum convolutional neural network. This slide shows the workflow of the proposed framework. Here for this work we obtain the database from MIT BIH Arrhythmia dataset available from Physionet. So this uh, proposed work starts with the pre-processing phase where the ECG signals are converted from one dimension to two dimensional scalogram images. So this is done with the help of applying the Apache's based discrete wavelet transform initially to abstract the features from one dimensional signal and then obtain the scalogram images from these wavelet features. Then this scalogram converted in images are applied as input to the quantum circuit. This quantum circuit is responsible to obtain the quantum feature extraction. So those extracted quantum channel features are fed as input to the convolutional neural network. So this convolutional neural network produces a four channel quantum features. So these features are finally con uh, given as input to the convolutional classical convolutional neural network to obtain the classified result. As discussed earlier, so the data, data set considered for this proposed work is obtained from MIT BIH Physionet database. So this, this database comprises of an arrhythmia data set collection which comprises of five different classes. This is basically a large data set which would be convenient to do the classical convolutional uh, convolution neural network based classification process. But for our proposed work, we considered to take a, minimum, a small sized data set which will be discussed in the next slide. This slide shows uh, the dataset description wherein which we convert the imbalanced MIT BIH dataset converted into a balanced dataset with minimum number of samples. So we create a small dataset comprising of total of 10,000 samples comprising all the five classes of ECG signals taking 2,000 samples in each class. So thus we considered a smaller dataset with each class having equal number of samples to, to be used as the input for our convolutional neural network based supervised learning task. So in this case, if we take one ECG sample, each and every ECG sample comprises of 186 sample values in it, sample points in it. This slide shows the pre-processing methodology performed in our workflow. So first, initially we are taking the data set, which is basically a balanced data set. So from this data set, initially we apply Dobbage's discrete wavelet transform, where 186 sample points is reduced to 94 sample points in the wavelet obtained feature. So this 96 sample point based wavelet feature is applied input as applied as input to the scalogram processing node. So there the output is a two dimensional scalogram image. The size of this scalogram generated scalogram images is considered to be fixed as 80 cross 80. So this particular figure shows different uh, type of scalogram images obtained for each and every different type of ECG class signals. Like class 0 scalogram image is completely unique from class 1 image, class 2 and class 3 and class 4 image. With the help of this particular slide, we would like to explain the quantum based supervised learning methodology applied in this proposed work. So this process of extracting the quantum feature map from the two dimensional scalogram images obtained from the previous step comprises of three different stages. The first stage is encoding stage. In this case, the classical uh, image pixel data are converted into quantum state. So this is accomplished by creating a two by two spatial subsections of the image, which can be encoded with the help of qubit circuit, which has a size of four qubits. So this qubit circuit is a unitary circuit, which is uh, comprising of four input qubits. So a small patch of two by two sample size image sample is fed as input to this qubit circuit. So initially this encoding is enabled by means of using RY rotation gate. So the rotational gate converts the incoming uh, image pixel value into a quantum bit. In this next stage, we uh, do a quantum computation. So this quantum computation means quantum bit converted out of this rotational gates are operated with the help of this unitary quantum circuit where 
uh, parameterization can also take place so that the quantum feature maps are obtained. So finally, in the decoding stage, so the obtained quantum values or processed quantum values are decoded back into classical value just by using the poly Z gate measurement. So once the quantum values are converted to classical value, we will be obtaining four different channels as this entire quantum circuit has four qubit input and it will generate four, four uh, classical bit output. So that out of that result, we will be able to extract quantum features in terms of four channels. So this sort of quantum circuit is repeated for two different layers according to our proposed concept. This particular slide shows the computed quantum feature maps obtained out of four different channels from the quantum node. So this first row shows the scalogram images fed as input to the quantum circuit. This is channel 0, channel 1, channel 2 and channel 3 output obtained from the quantum circuit. So once the quantum feature map is obtained from the quantum node, the next step is to feed this quantum feature map to the classical convolutional neural network part. So this CNN part comprises of two dimensional convolutional operation with the help of using rectified linear unit as activation function. So this convolution layer is followed by max pooling operation and finally a fully connected network is used and followed by that a dense neural network section is used with the help of 50 neurons kept in a layer. Following that dense neural network layer, a five, five node based classification layer is finalized. So the optimizer is fixed as stochastic gradient descent optimizer in order to do the optimization while doing the classical supervised learning computations. So this model utilizes categorical cross entropy based loss function in order to perform this classification task. Here, in order to elaborate the results and discussion obtained out of this proposed research work, we would like to explore that this experimental findings are obtained with the help of PennyLane and TensorFlow-based libraries worked in the Keras platform in the Google Colab environment. This model has been executed in the Tesla P100 graphical processing unit supported with 25 GB RAM facility. This PennyLane is a library which uh, executes the quantum operation in the quantum simulator in order to perform the hybrid quantum classical computational supervised operations. So the uh, we would like to project our uh, superiority of the proposed work with the nature of a quantum uh, node comprising of number of layers is equal to two layers and this quantum operation was executed with thousand number of shots. So this sort of uh, model with these two parameters considered to have a superior performance in terms of higher values of precision recall and F1 score as displayed in this particular comparative table. So here we have repeated our uh, experiments just by changing the number of uh, layers into uh, four values and we kept the number of shots as thousand in all the cases of varying the number of layers. Out of this each experiment we have computed accuracy, precision, recall and F1 score values for all the five classes of ECG, ECG signals. And in order to compare this quantum uh, circuit, quant convolutional convolutional neural network based circuit along with the normal 2D CNN model, we have kept this uh, simulation result also in order to show the superiority performance of the proposed work. So here, in order to show the uh, performance uh, of the proposed model, we have executed uh, the training process uh, by uh, setting 50 number of epochs and we have done the validation of our proposed work. So we have divided our data set into testing set and validation set. So this particular uh, graph shows the accuracy plot for both test set and the validation set. And in addition to that, we have, uh, we have shown uh, the plot of receiver operating characteristic curve for all the five classes of ECG signals. So this shows for uh, two uh, quantum layers, two repetition of quantum layers uh, in executed in thousand number of shots, we got a good uh, result. And that has been executed in terms of having high 100 percentage of accuracy in terms of micro and macro averages in this ROC curve. Finally, we would like to conclude that quantum computing is currently taking rule over the world by performing large complex operations using qubit mode. Even though as of now the error rate is high, certainly high, but it could be minimized by using customized quantum circuit with appropriate gates. So this proposed model of convolutional neural network is a hybrid combination of quantum random circuit and classical convolutional neural network circuit. So this proposed model was helpful in extracting better learned features than the normal uh, classical CNN uh, circuit using quantum gates resulting in a highest score of 98% of precision with macro average of 100%. So this model can be further furnishable as future work using fuzzy logic to predict the probability of test case. Thank you.